Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to America Truck Show, love you guys. So, I promised to do a run with this truck. This is a modded truck. It is a cab over. The Mac F700. So let's get on the road. Uh, we're in Bakerfield, California. We're going to Barstow, California. We're hauling board games. Okay, here we go. Now the truck has a Cummins engine. Uh, it doesn't have any Mac engine options except for the V8 Mac. So we're gonna make run a Cummins today. We have 182 miles to go. It should take us three hours and ten minutes to get there. We got a full tank of fuel. So let's go the road. You can't see the inside of this Mac too good because it's night. I was hoping to get this run in there today, but. Here's the inside of this cab over. Pretty cool little truck. Now, I did promise to run this uh, truck. As you can see, the mirrors are messed up on the Turn truck. Right. You see right there where the mirrors froze. So that is an issue with the truck I've noticed. The mirror on that side is working, this mirror is not working. And that may be something that could be changed in option. Uh, if you change the mirror, that may uh, be the problem with that. Uh, it is a modded truck, so. Thank you. 
39 miles to go. We'll have to get a thumbnail. I actually think I already have one. Maybe you should use that one that I already have. doing some uh, coast coast runs it's gonna be using SCF trucks but we're gonna do some live streams even videos of the uh, coast coast runs um, you know go straight it's too far That's we'll, right. we'll stop in a certain area and we'll come back to it and continue our run until we finish it but we get some coast coast runs and we'll get we're gonna do some Canada runs so just to add a little bit more to it, because uh, like I said, I don't use too many modded trucks, so you know, just to add a little bit more to it, you know, to bring a little bit more over to the series, and to the channel for the main truck somewhere, so. Yeah, that mirror is so uh, bad, it it's freezing. That mirror is good, it's just this uh, one on the driver's side. Just know how to front mirror. A lot of these day cabs I've seen had a front mirror. This Go straight on. That's right. I don't know. Maybe the Mac just didn't. Maybe they didn't put front mirrors on their cabin. Okay, I've never seen that trailer before. We'll go over the options after we uh, drop this load with this truck so you can kind of see what the options are. <clears throat> and may, like I said, maybe there's a, a different mirror option that you could use that doesn't have that issue. Um, I used the one with the chrome, so I don't know if that's what it is. It's not a deal breaker though. I mean, if you can find one that is not freezing. Uh, then you'll be okay with the truck. It's actually a nice one for the cabin. thumbnail in this case I don't decide to use uh, the one that I already have let's go ahead and do that just in case I decide not to use the other one we'll go ahead and make this daylight so we can see here because <clears throat> we can't see what we're look working with here I'm going to turn the this around like this uh, as far as the look of the truck as you see it looks really good uh, the outside looks really good come in with it just a little bit
let this truck on, on the inside of the cab. There's no turn signal. It's on the, uh, what the indicator is, is, uh, what the switch is when you do that, when you turn it. Those two little green uh, lights down there. Um, I don't know if that's correct. I don't know if that's, that, if that's how it was. <clears throat> on these cab overs, and, and the real ones. never seen one like that but you know that's not to say that that couldn't be the real way it is
exactly where they want it. Here we are, safe and sound and smug as a bug. Oh, they want right in that corner. Well, good thing we're in a cab. Shouldn't be too hard in this truck to do that. I can see where the uh, turn the switch is for the turn signal. You see the little green lights. I don't know if that's the way it was in real life. Yeah, on the outside, it's also looks a little truck. Uh, it needs a little bit of work, I believe. It needs to have an option to add some Mac engines to it. Uh, it being a Mac, it definitely needs the Mac engines added to it. That's a plus. It made it hard to get around with this uh, cab over. Went with like a hunter green on the truck. I thought it'd be a little bit different color to run today. start cutting A lot easier.
All right, we drove excellent. We drove 182 miles. It took us four hours and 47 minutes to get here. We consumed 25 gallons of fuel, which is not bad on fuel. guys so as far as the truck goes uh, it does need a little bit of work uh, it needs to mirror as I've, said, I've already said fix uh, it does have a lot of options it, it is a good looking little mod it is a good looking uh, cab over uh, the mirror definitely needs to be fixed that's the biggest issue that I've seen with this mod so we're gonna go into the um, dealership and show you the customization with it okay so you go to Mac Right, it has three cab options. Has the day cab, extended and standard cab. This is the one we're using here. Is this? It has uh, four chassis, engine options range anywhere from around a, a Detroit diesel, around 360 horsepower, up to a Cummins N14 525, which is what we were running. Um, you have engine, uh, I'm sorry, transmissions from a 15 speed. You do have some Mac transmission, but you didn't have any Mac uh, engines. Um, you do have some Mac transmissions there, all at 18 speed Max. Uh, interior, you have different color interior. That you could do, you do black, blue, brown, red, the tan like it is here. There's a green color like a teal, white, like a wine color. Uh, paint jobs, a lot of different paint jobs. That would be kind of weird. But uh, a lot of different paint jobs on the truck. Um. As you can see, all this looks good. All of it works. Um, no issues with none of this. All this is uh, working like it should. It has the metallic colors. It has the slider. You go in and change your color. Yeah. Just make sure that's working. It is. So yeah, no issues with none of that. Um, you have a lot of bumpers here. This is probably your aluminum standard bumper. You have one with a, a bar, uh, like a full bar, plain bar. You have another one that has your bull bar. This one here has the small lights in the front. You have one here that you know that just has your mud flaps, standard bumper. That one has fog lights, fog lights. Another one there. That one I kind of like the most. I think it looks think it looks pretty good on the truck. Um, then you have. You change your headlights. You have different options for your headlights. That actually has turn signals in it. That that one's not very bad. I didn't see that one, so but that wouldn't be look too bad. Bounce for you. Um, you have three different um bulldog logos that you can put on. You have a gold, silver, and chrome. I never have liked the stone guard. I don't like those in these trucks. You can do your dash black or brown. You have plenty of uh, sun shields. This is your light adapter for more lights for the truck. A uh, horn adapter. You can put a deflector up there if you want one. And so here's your mirror. So the mirror that we was using was... 
aluminum and chrome, I believe. And I think that's the one that is messed up. So, if we run the truck again, we may have to change it to paint it or something like that. And see if it makes a difference. That may just be something that's going on. Uh, you have multiple exhausts. As you see, it takes away from back here with the exhaust. You have multiple ga uh, fuel tanks on the truck. You have uh, two steps. This is for mud flaps. Yeah, you can put a chrome right here uh, 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 up on the door, a door step. Uh, tire options. Obviously, it has quite a few tire options. This is your back for mud flaps. So, here's the inside of the cab. You have your steering wheel pack that comes with it. Here's a classic Mac steering wheel. You have the SC, the SCS uh, cab accessory pack it does work on this truck, which is good to see. All right, you have um, that's from the outside. You can put uh, options up there. There's your windows up there. <clears throat> Excuse me. So it has. I mean, it does have a lot of options, uh, but it does need a little bit of work. Uh, it does need the mirror fixed in it. I could say that's probably going to be the biggest problem with the truck, is that mirror. Uh, the mirror freezing. So. So guys, you know, let me know what you think about the Mac. This is a Mac F700. I got this off of ModSites.com for ATS. And um, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And have a good day.